Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penge and welcome to Series Makers, which is a game that is going to let us live out our dream of directing our own TV series, because that is what it's all about. I mean, it's called Series Makers and there's a great big telly in the middle of the screen, which sort of gives it away, although it is a very old telly to be fair. It's a very yoldy style kind of telly with a very, very old aerial sat on the top. Go and ask your parents, kids. Good grief. That is going back away. But that is what this game is all about. We are going to be making our own TV series. So it could be anything. We could be making a kids TV series and then we could move on to making something slightly more bigger and, you know, more dramatic, maybe like Game of Thrones. And... The idea of the game is to get the balance of what goes into those particular series just right. So in Game of Thrones, we don't want it packed with humour and then have no action, because that's obviously not right. We want to make sure there's plenty of action in Game of Thrones with possibly a tiny bit of humour sprinkled in and that kind of thing. So what we do is we start off fairly small, I believe, in a sort of little, maybe an independent kind of place, and then we work our way up and get a big studio and have lots of employees and all that kind of stuff. If I had to liken it to anything... I think it looks a little bit familiar in kind of how it works in the terms of the game's mechanics and the visuals. It looks a bit like Game Dev Tycoon, which is quite an old game now. What, six, seven years old maybe, possibly? But um, I played that and I enjoyed that. So, I mean, it's no bad thing that it's like that. It clearly works. I think Game Dev Tycoon is very, very popular. So, I think it's a little bit like that. But do you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I enjoyed that, so I will probably enjoy this. Let's just get on with it, shall we? This is the full version, so it's not an early access version. It's come straight out. It's on Steam now for you to go and get if you're interested. I've put a link in the uh, link to the Steam store page in the video description below. But let's just get on with it, shall we? Let's play some series makers. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is name our character and name our studio. So we're obviously going to be called Penge, hello. And I've decided to call the studio Geeky Teapot. I quite like the idea of Geeky Teapot because TV studios these days have slightly obscure names, or they can do. Like um, JJ Abrams one, I think, is called Bad Robot. So Geeky Teapot fits in quite nicely. Let's pick what we look like then. I think that is the guy gender, isn't it? Yeah, so we'll stay as a guy. Hair, right. Can we get my hair right? Um, oh, oh, okay, it's not styles, it's just colour. Okay, well, that will probably do. Skin colour, let's have that middling one there. Top and trousers. Right, can we, can we go Geek Cup of Branding? Can we, can we go Geek Cup of Branding? Right, there's a blue, oh, there's not a yellow top. That's a bit annoying. A blue top, I bet there won't be yellow trousers, will there? No. Do you know what? That'll do. Whatever the case. Yes, that's absolutely fine. Okay, let's start. And there we go. So we're in some sort of little kind of basement. There's a few jackets hanging on a rail. We've got some sort of sound equipment and some recording equipment. There's a few boxes in the corner of VHS cassettes. <laughs> Wowee. That's going back away. Ask your parents, kids. Uh, a ye olde style computer. It says Netflix on the wall. And I've heard of something similar to that, but I just can't quite put my finger on it. How intriguing. And we've been given... $25 of pocket money. That's very generous. Oh, now, time is moving on. Time is moving on right now. One year has gone by and all I've done is sit about and jibber-jabber on. Right, we possibly should get on with something. So I believe what we have to do is we have to click on stuff to make other things happen. So if we click on us, this brings up our stats. And I think that stopped time moving as well, which is good. So we've got a set of stats for us. So we're level one and we're training one. I don't really know what training one means. Is that how good we are at receiving training possibly? So I'm guessing we've got kind of 20 camera work skill, 20 audio skill. I don't know what the stars are and I don't know what the little book thing is. I think what we need to do now is, because it says up here, no production. What we need to do is we need to get a production underway. And then as we work on it, we will earn research points that we can then spend on stuff. That's how, uh, that's how I believe this is going to work. So we probably click on the computer... And we can start a new series. Oh, or, oh, I like that. You can create a protagonist. So you can create a kind of star of a series and then have them in lots of different series. Oh, I like that. But now let's just start a new series. Let's just begin a new series. So um, we have to pick ourselves a setting, a theme, and an audience. Okay, well, let's go to the themes first because that's kind of key really, isn't it? So what have we got? So we have a set sort of list that we can choose from. And... Very, very similar to Game Dev Tycoon, if I'm completely honest. We'll then uh, research these. We'll unlock these as we go. So when we get the research points, we can then unlock theme. So, yeah, we might say, right, let's unlock uh, the uh, I know, space theme. But at the moment, we've got document documentation. A documentary. I suppose I said documentary, I guess. <laughs> Not documentation. That is a very, very boring TV show. Someone doing their tax returns. <laughs> or doing some printing or something. Um, drama, horror, or politicians. Um, they're all quite heavy topics. I was hoping to go with a family-friendly show, but I don't think that'll work. Let's go for a drama. Oh, can we have like a hospital drama? Please let us have a hospital drama. Oh, 
These are the settings. I wanted a hospital. I wanted a dramatic hospital thing. A city drama, a history drama, farm, space, future, or medieval. Um, let's have um, a medieval drama um, aimed at family. Is that going to work? Or clique? Viewers 400. Right, there's more viewers for that. So we have to have certain licenses. So if we want to broadcast to a school... Uh, oh, no, right. Ah, what's that? Viewers, why have we not got that? We've got the license for it. Ah, the broadcast costs are too high. Okay, yes. So this uh, too high. So we'll have that one because it goes toward more people. So our medieval drama that's going to cost us 250. We need to give it a name. What should we call our very first thing that we're going to make? In keeping with our studio name, let's call it Knights of the Teapot. And let us start our production of Knights of the Teapot and see how this is going to go. So, start production. These are the most four important attributes of your productions. Visual, sound, style, and story. Ah, okay, right. So our character here is quite good at the story side of things. Okay, so uh, what's that then? So production is uh, visuals there, sound, style is the star. Okay, so style and story, gotcha. Here you can see the amount of research points you have. Absolutely nothing. Also, the box is slightly too high. As well as the fame and mistake counter of your current series. Oh, <laughs> let's prepare for this to be quite high then. Uh, through your productions, you gain fans and money. Okay, so there's our money. That is our fan base. Lovely. Uh, right. So now are we just sitting, just writing the thing? Is this what we're doing? We're just making it, are we? Okay, right. So time will tick by. And we are going to then earn these things. So this is the, you'll see little bits will pop up over us. So um, as we work on it, we will then put in sort of points into our show. So we've currently contributed one film sort of point, one style point, and one, what was that one again? Kind of script point, whatever it was. So now we have to define our story. Remember your combination of medieval and drama. Okay, so drama. It's going to need some complexity because they're going to want that. Let's have a bit less humour. We don't want it to be... No, not funny. 15, can we have 15% humour? Yep, and then let's notch the action up a little bit. But how about action 40? Can we have that higher? Yeah, like that. Oh, no, that's too high. I want it to be 30. 30, like that. We want it to be complex. It's a complex medieval drama with not much humour and not much action. It's all about the interactions between the families of the knights of the teapots. So yeah, let's go for that, shall we? I mean, that might be a terrible way around of doing things. So look, little bits will pop up to show us that we've just done some audio work on it. Okay, the protagonist is called Bakachu <laughs> or Hank Vader. We have to pick a protagonist. Right, okay, right. So we can make new ones of these. So he's quite intelligent. He's not very brave and he's not very happy. This guy, Hank Vader, is delighted. He's he's absolutely as happy as Larry, but he's not brave and he's not intelligent. Do you know what? Let's have Vader. Let's throw Vader in. So Knight Vader of the Teapot is now in. We're going to write you in. We're getting some pocket money. Okay, is, is that the end? Okay, it's finished. And what happens is at the end, we didn't really get to see it there, but there's some time at the end where you then go through and iron out the mistakes. And if we leave it, so it's ready to go now, but if we leave it, we are going to work on it a bit more. So a little bit of fame just tops up there. An occasion, there you go. Look, we just added some audio work onto it. So it will get better if we leave it, but obviously we're not making any money from anything now. We're just getting our pocket money. So I think let's get one more point in something. Let's just wait for one more thing to pop up. Anytime you like. <laughs> Do you know what? Let's not wait for things to pop up. It's not doing it. Let's press finish and we shall release our drama to the world. Okay. What are people going to say about this? Okay, right. We've got some multipliers. So it's a new theme. It's a new setting, a new technology kit, new protagonist and an awesome combination. Um, okay, so we've leveled up and our protagonist has got a bit better and our screenplay skills have gone up possibly. Okay, so it, look, I mean, it looks good to me. It's not got much in the way of style. But it looks good. <laughs> so let's broadcast Knights of the Teapot. Okay, protagonist experience. Ah, so because he's leveled up, we get to spend points. Oh, this is very good. Okay, well, he's got seven points. So let's notch up bravery. Let's notch up... Let's put two in each, look. Let's just give him an all-round sort of thing. And then let's make him even happier. Let's have him a smiley, happy Vader. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so there you go. The popularity of, of your protagonist increases after every series. If you choose him for your next series, he will increase the fame of these with the help of his own popularity. Now, I assume he can now only ever appear in Knights of the Teapot. We can't drag Hank Vader out and put him in, you know, space badgers or whatever, <laughs> because then that's just a bit weird. But okay, we'll see how that works. Okay, so what happens now? 
After finishing a series, one of your employees can create a report which shows you details of the performance. Okay, right. These are our reviewers then. So they've they've given us... Uh, okay, that, I'm happy with that. I'm absolutely happy with that. Someone gave us an 8. I assume it's out of 10. So an average rating of 7. The team was not bad. The setting, theme, combination of medieval and drama was just amazing. The story was superb. The director, Penge, was bad. Yeah, I can't complain too much about that. It's fine. <laughs> I'll accept that criticism. Yes. The report for your series, Knights of the Teapot, can now be created by you or your staff. Okay, how do I do that then? Click on that or click on me. Click on me. Ah, series report. Yeah, do a series report, please. Show me what's going on. So now we're getting research points, look. We're earning research points on the more stuff we do. Oh, look at that. We've got viewers. Knights of the Teapot's got viewers. Oh, it's very exciting. Medieval drama is a perfect combination. For the story of this theme, complexity is important. Yes, bingo. Knew it. Good. So we did okay. So it's getting us some viewers. And hopefully that will bring in some fans at some point. Oh, it's going up and up and up. Look at it. It's making us monies. Right, you do some research. Let's do a bit of research. Uh, and research a new theme, possibly. So we can research either lawyers, prison, fashion, or drugs. Drugs? Okay, let's research prison. <laughs> That's a slightly weird thing, but yeah. Okay, we'll research that. That will not take too long, I don't imagine. So we've spent some of our research points. Okay, we've now finished the research prison. Let's make ourselves... Uh, let's make a new... Let's make a prison drama. Let's make a, a prison... Oh, the prison is the theme. A prison-based... Um, okay, this is a bit weird. A prison in the in space. A space prison uh, for a clicky audience again. I don't really know what that means. If I'm completely honest, I don't really understand what the family I get. I don't know what clique means. Does that mean kind of individuals or whatever? So we'll have that, please. So a space prison. What should we call a new series about a prison in space? I think we call it Locked Up in Space. It's going to cost 250. Yes, let's make Locked Up in Space. Now, we should be able to get this a little bit higher because we've got better skills now because we leveled up from making Knights of the Teapot. So Knights of the Teapot is still bringing us in some monies and stuff. Okay, right. Now, I have no idea what to do with this. A space prison, I imagine, is going to need some action and some humour. I don't imagine we want a lot of complexity. So more action... Let's have 50% action. Let's have it all action. Not that complex. Let's bring that up a tiny bit. Uh, that'll do. That's probably fine. That'll do. 49% action. A little bit of humour because I want it to be a bit tongue-in-cheek because they are locked up in space. And a tiny bit complex. Uh, I don't really know why, but that'll do. Let's go for that, shall we? And just see how disastrous <laughs> this can be. So there we go. We're investing sort of um, camera work and stuff into it. Lovely. Okay, who do we want in this? Let's have Bakachu. Because you can start it. Because Hank Vader's already back in the past. He's already in the teapot lands. So let's have Bakachu. <laughs> we'll put you in. Absolutely. So the protagonist is going in. There he is. And we've got no no style. It's a very styleless thing so far. I'd like it to have at least one point of style, please. <laughs> if you could make that happen. Hey, there we go. Right. Can we get anything else? Can we get another little nudge of any of those? Three, two, one, two. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, we'll finish off now. There's no mistakes. These researches are now available. Marketing. Ooh, we can do some marketing. Okay, finish the thing, please. Absolutely, we're publishing it. Let's see what happens. Multiplicators, which I think is a made-up word. An awesome combination. What, a space prison? Beautiful. Okay, we have not... Oh, yes, we have leveled up. I wonder what happens when we level up. Do I need to do anything with us leveling up? I'm not entirely sure. Um, so, protagonist probably has leveled up, possibly. Uh, yep, screenplay. I don't really know what that is there. I don't know what that means. Does that level up? Is that our skills at writing screenplays, possibly? I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's broadcast Locked Up in Space. Um, oh, right, he's gone up a bit. Okay, let's just put two in each like we did before. And let's make you very intelligent. You can be super clever. You can be super clever, Mr. Bakachu. Okay, so let's see how that goes. Right, here we go. Here's the ratings from our four people for Locked Up in Space. Oh, oh I thought it was going to get a 10. The director page was not so good. Fair enough. <laughs> the team was good. Space prisons are awesome, apparently, and Bakachu was good. Okay, so we got 6.25. Does that O with the thing in it mean average? Does that mean average? I'm not sure. Okay, again, again, it, they're all at minimum six, which I think is fine. I'm quite happy with that. There we go. Now we can create a report on it. So let's do that. Let's make a series report. No report can be created. What? I rather think it can. 
Yeah, let's do that one. Yes, please. That generates some nice research points for us. It's all going up. It's all looking good. Okay, so we've got 597 monies. Now, can we do some training as well? Can we do some training? Space prison is a very good combo. Action is important. Yes, <laughs> this is brilliant. I'm doing well purely by chance. Okay, can we train ourselves? Um, it's going to cost 15 research points. Yeah, I think we do that. Let's give ourselves a little bit of training and then we'll level ourselves up a bit, give ourselves some more skills. So it costs 15 research points to train. That's absolutely fine. Wow, we've almost got a grand. Oh, 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 we could get a grand out of this. Pen just finished the training. So now am I better just generally? Uh, oh yeah, I think I'm a little bit better overall. So what does that mean? I've just trained myself up, have I? Okay, so I'm just a generally a better all-round person. Okay, so now let's go forth. I think we might need to make a new protagonist because we've used our two now. So let's make a new... Oh, can we not write a new protagonist? Can we not create a new one? Uh, yeah, that's what I thought we were doing with that. I thought we could create a new protagonist. But clearly not. Maybe that's something we have to unlock at another point? Maybe? I don't know. I mean, research-wise, yeah, we could have done marketing there. 10 research points. 300. Let's make another show. Let's make another show. The only thing now is that we're going to have to have... Um, we're going to have to have one of this lot in the new series. So Knights of the Teapot did very, very well. It made a bit of profit. It made it made a bit of money for us. I think the space one's doing even better. But let's make a new series. Uh, let's pick a theme of... Um, a, a documentary just sounds incredibly dull. And why would it have a protagonist? <laughs> why would it have Hank Vader in? Let's make um, a horror, then. Let's make a horror... Um, a, a city horror, a farm horror. That might go quite well. No, a farm documentary might be quite nice. A city horror. Choose the audience for a school. <laughs> I don't think I'll put it in the school. <laughs> Maybe a documentary for the school. How about Clicky again? So uh, what can we call this? So a city horror. Um, okay, right. Let's think of a name. Okay, it's going to feature spiders and we're going to call it Scary Killer Death Spiders of Doom. <laughs> and it's going to be a horror in this city. Kind of in my mind, I'm envisaging kind of loads of big terrifying spiders of doom in a city eating people. So there we go. Let's start this, shall we? Let's see how this goes. So Scary Killer Death Spiders of Doom has begun. We're doing some preparation. Okay, so we could do with TV station cost 250. Okay, right. We're getting an awful lot of stuff. Okay, City Horror. Okay, we probably want a lot of action. We don't want much humour at all, I wouldn't imagine, in a horror film. Complexity may be down a tad. Uh, yeah, let's bring... Let, that'll do. 35% complexity, 12% humour, 53% action. We want all action. Or do we want all action? Hang on, bring that down. Put complexity back up a bit. There you go, that'll do. 50-37. That looks like a good combo. That'll do for me. We've still got no style. Come on, Mr. Penge, do some better styling. We've got some good script going on. This is where I don't understand. This this I don't get. Because now Hank Vader was already in Knights of the Teapot. And now we're going to have to drag him out of Knights of the Teapot, where he was a knight, and stick him fighting some spiders. But okay, right. Hank Vader it is. Let's bring you in. And you're happy. You're happy. And no one's brave. Who's bravest? We might have to put Bakachu in it. He's intelligent and brave. We don't need someone happy in a horror film. It would make more sense if you were in it. Because you're at least a, a point braver but also you're quite intelligent, so you might be able to kill the spiders. The, sorry, the, the uh, scary killer death spiders, to give them their official title. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll go for that then, please. We'll put you back in. Ooh, another couple of fame points. I wouldn't mind some style. Come on. <laughs> Get me some style points, man. Right, we're going to leave it for a bit, because I don't like the fact that we've got no style points. We've got three fame, and no mistakes, but it's the most unstylish production you could ever imagine. <laughs> Just filmed on, who knows what it's filmed on. An old camera and bits of string everywhere. Yeah, okay, we've got some research points. Come on, one style point. Come on, come on. Otherwise, people are not going to like it if it's not stylish in any way, shape or form. It's got giant killer death spiders in it. Come on. No, nothing. No, okay, fine. Well, we'll finish it up like that then, shall we? A completely styleless production, but okay, no style. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, that's gone up a bit. Protagonist has uh, not leveled up and we are on level four. So we've leveled up a bit. Let's broadcast this. Yes. And uh, you have not leveled up, uh, but you've got a bit more popular. 
popularity's gone up, which is lovely. That's good. So he's becoming more known, which is splendid. Okay, the ratings. I'm not holding out much hope for this. <laughs> not holding out any hope. Um, oh, the director Penge was cool. Yeah, yeah. You know the drill, David Hayne. <laughs> you know how to impress me. The team was... Okay. The protagonist, Bakachu, was awesome. The story was enjoyable, says Sebastian Strange. Okay, lovely. Splendid. Right, we can do the thing. We have to wait for that to go, I think. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's do our report on that. That'll get us some nice research points as well, hopefully. Scary killer. Just, just, just that's all it fits on. Come on, get us 10 research points. Come on, give us 10. Then we can do some marketing malarkey. Ow. Oh. City horror is an average combination. For the story of this theme, complexity is important. Oh, botherations. Okay, <laughs> maybe that's why it didn't do as well as it could have done. Um, okay, never mind. Never mind. Right, can we create a new protagonist yet? No, that must be a skill we unlock at some point. Um, no reports. How about then we do research? I want to do that. I want to do marketing, but we need 10 more research points. Right, let's make another TV series. <laughs> let's make something else. Um, uh, Theme-wise, what have we not done? How about we do a, a, a documentary? I think it's supposed to say a documentary <laughs> about a farm for a school, which is thoroughly exciting. So a farm documentary, what should we call it for the school? That is perfect. Farm Manager 2018, harking back to a geek cupboard classic series. I think that works quite well. And you know, you're managing a farm. It could be a documentary. So I think let's do that, please. Now, I don't really know how we're going to do this with, with the values that come up in terms of a documentary, not a documentation. So a documentary, I don't know how it's going to work because action, documentaries don't have any, no action, lots of complexity and a tiny bit of humour, I imagine. Because... Does it, do you watch a documentary for action? You watch it for information, kind of detail. So I would say complexity is very, very important. Humour probably, maybe actually, let's knock the humour up a tiny bit more. So 22% humour, mostly complexity, a tiny bit of action, maybe just some you know, dramatic panning shots of, I don't know, wheat or something. I don't know. So, okay, we'll go for that to see if that works. Um, oh, we've got a star point. Oh, thank goodness. And we've got 10 research points, which means that we can do marketing next time. Okay, we have to pick a protagonist. This I disagree with. This I don't like. Um, all right, let's have Hank Vader because he's happy. <laughs> he can just be a happy man on the farm enjoying chatting to the farm people. That will do the job, I think, maybe. We need to create a new protagonist. I want a new person. I want a new person in here because are you really a protagonist if you're in a documentary? I don't think you are. Right, another point and then I'll be happy. Another point in one of those things. Oh, we've got a point of fame. There we go. That'll do. And another point of research as well. Let's finish up. Yes, please. That's okay. Right. Multiplicators. New theme. New setting. Great protagonist. Really? Do you think? You might level up. Is he leveled up? No. Have we leveled up? No, not yet. Let's broadcast Farm Manager 2018. Uh, Hank Vader did not level up, but never mind. How's it going to go? Come on. Give us some good ratings. It's Farm Manager 2018. Everyone loves Farm Manager. Come on. Oh, dear. Oh dear, it was not good. <laughs> Andre really didn't like it. The director Penge was good, but he directed an absolute pile of poop. Okay, the setting theme combination farm documentation was disastrous. Really? I thought a, document, a documentary about a farm would be pretty good. And the team did a good job, I guess. Uh, I was good and the story was like, there's no story. It's a documentary. There's no story. Stop it. Stop it with this story nonsense. Um... Okay, right, the report can be created, <laughs> which will say, what are you thinking? Right, Farm Manager 2018, do a little report on it. Splendid, splendid. Uh, right, we've got 14 research, 15 research. So we'll get this done. We've got 1.2k in the bank, so I'm pretty happy with that. Farm documentation, documentary, is the worst combination. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad we went for that there. <laughs> well, what is supposed to be good then? A documentary about farms I thought might be quite interesting. Okay, fine, whatever. Because, um, you know, it could be about the plight of farmers. It could be about the difficulty that farmers are facing in the current world climate or whatever. That's a bit mean. Um, how about we research this marketing? It's going to cost us a bit of money but and some research points, but it means we can get some marketing done. Now, what does that mean we can do? we finished marketing research. Can we now market things a bit better? Can we make a new protagonist yet? No. <laughs> okay. Let's go to research again. Let's research a new theme. What can we have? Oh, Western. 
Yes, please. Absolutely. Oh, education. Education might have been useful for a farm. Oh, for goodness sake, I'm glad that appears. Oh, drugs might be good for a documentary. Oh, bother. However, westerns. Yes. There we go. We'll have a western, please. Yep, so we'll use some of our research points. Let's make a western. A oh, farm man just getting quite a few views. Pen just finished the research. Western. Lovely. Okay. So now, let's make a new series from a, of a western. Pick a setting. Well, the west would be appropriate, wouldn't it? A space... Oh... A space western. It's going to be Firefly, but it'll probably say it's a terrible combination. But then I just go, <coughs> Firefly, and then that would all be wrong, wouldn't it? It's got to be a historical thing, hasn't it? It's got to be a historical setting. I assume at some point we get to unlock new settings. Because, you know, there needs to be more than that, possibly. So, yeah, we'll go for history, please. And the audience can be... Click again. I just don't really know what that means. But, yeah, it's got 400 viewers. So it's not quite a school age sort of thing. It's more this. So we'll broadcast it here, please. Um, okay, what do we want to call our Western show? That's perfect. We're going to call it Yee-Haw Rootin' Tootin' Share of Shooty Pants. <laughs> I quite like that. And we'll even use the terrible accent I just did there. So let's go and make Yee-Haw Rootin' Tootin' Share of Shooty Pants right now. Let's start production of that. In no way will this be an absolute disaster. I wouldn't mind training us up as well. And then I want to see what the marketing does there. Ah, we've got marketing just there. Choose media. A flyer, university radio, or university auditorium. Well, that's money. Why don't we just do the biggest one we can? Let's just advertise and see if this gets us any fans with Now, this hasn't gone up. I noticed that's not increased. I should fully understand, but okay, that's fine. Right, so history, a Western. So a Western, obviously, it's back in time. How about we have lots of action? A Western needs some action. It doesn't need to be that complex or that amusing, I wouldn't have thought. Let's have 25% humour. Not that much complexity, lots of action. Let's let's notch the action up, actually. Let's have more action. More, like that. Lots of action. Lots of gunfights and stuff happening, other Western things. It's just gunfights, isn't it, really? Westerns, gunfights, chewing gum, riding horses, that kind of stuff. Yep, yeah, that'll do. Let's see if that works. It probably won't, but never mind. Um, fame is going up a little bit there. That's higher than we've seen before. Oh, we need another one of these people in. Right, okay, who's going to go in? Ha a happy cowboy who was last used in a documentary about farms or Bakachu who was last seen fighting some killer death spiders. <laughs> I think I think it might have to be Bakachu. Let's get Bakachu in. You can you can join in. Oh, now the fame has rocketed up just there to 13, 15. Maybe that's our marketing kicking into life. Now, that would be very good. Um, OK, so I think it's I think it's finished. The button has appeared underneath there because I've got such a long name. OK, right, hang on. Oh dear. Let's see if we can just iron out a few more bits because it's it's pretty terrible. I mean, we've got a very good story, but everything else is pretty rubbish about this. Can we at least get one more point in something else, please? A style point, maybe? Or a bit of camera work? Uh, oh no, another story point. Okay, fine. Well, let's just let's press the finish button that we can just get our hands on down there. Right, we're done. We're publishing it. Let's see how it goes. Oh, it's very good in terms of story, though. Great protagonist. Awesome combination. New setting, new theme. It's all good. Protagonist has leveled up. Are we going to level up? Don't know. We didn't seem to do anything just there. Okay, screen players leveled up. I don't really know what that means. I imagine it will tell us at some point. Okay, let, let's broadcast <laughs> this. And Bakachu has leveled up. Right, well, let's give him two points in each, like so. So you've got an extra boost to all your bravery and happiness and intelligence. Um, let's make you a bit braver. Let's bring that up, uh, and then a couple more points of intelligence. So you can be, you're not that happy, you're like a dark, brooding kind of, ugh, he's, been, he's been dealing with spiders, and now he's in the West. He's, you know, he's, he's a brooding, kind of intelligent, but brave soul. So yeah, I think we go for that. Yes, please. Okay, let's see what the reviews are. I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> I'm not going to hold my breath because this is going to be treasured. <gasps> oh my goodness me. The protagonist Bakachu was amazing, the team was terrific, the director Penge was enjoyable, and the setting theme combo of History Western was perfect. Eights all round. This, this That's our best show. And look, they've got these laurel kind of things around them. Yes, yee-haw, rootin', tootin', share of shooty pants has worked very, very well. And Bakachu has now made a name for himself as rootin', tootin', share of shooty pants. That is brilliant. Okay, that worked very, very well. Okay, well, we can do the thing now. Insane. Your current series is a rare masterpiece. The Netflix University is so amazed that they want to broadcast your series on their own TV channel. Yes. Y yes. I'll let them. Yes, please. 
absolutely. Uh, right, let's do the report on the thing. Let's do a report on Root and Toon, Sheriff McShooty Pants. <laughs> do that. Um, okay, oh, look at this. <gasps> Holy moly. Wait, 26K? We've got 26 grand. Right, that's it. History Western is a perfect combination. For the story of this team, action is important. We have created... A, a modern day masterpiece. Oh, it's brilliant. 124 fans and 63,000 monies. Oh, wow. Okay, right. How about, can we train ourselves a bit more? 40 research points. No, we very much cannot. Good grief. Uh, we've got 13 research points. Can we research a new theme? Um, dance, drugs, education, and fashion. Hackers or lawyers. <laughs> That's a bit dull, doesn't it? Hackers might be interesting. Should we make a hackers drama? That might work quite well and make it all sort of a futuristic hackers drama. Let's do that. Yeah, okay. Hackers, start research. Do that, please. So spend some research points. Get us some hackers. Oh my goodness me, there's so many. I've got 147 grand. Pen just finished the research hackers. All right, go go me. Can we create a new protagonist yet? No, we're still stuck with the same two. Let's create a new series of hackers in the future. I think that might be quite good. So futuristic hackers... <gasps> The video store. Oh, broadcast costs 1.2k. Yeah, whatever. Absolutely. I'll buy the license for that. Thank you very much. Uh, right, what do we call this? I think Hacked Off is a very good name for that. Why not? We'll go for Hacked Off. It's going to cost us 2.2k, but now we've got 179 grand. I don't think we need to worry. Can we not let, move out of our rubbishy basement with 179 grand? Okay, let's start the production of this. Let's see how Hacked Off goes. So future hackers. That's got to be good. So, you know, we need some sort of bleak, some sort of bleak. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Do you want to change your office for 25,000 monies? Yes, please. I would love to. Oh, my goodness, mate. Do we work at Netflix now? The new research is available. These researches are available. Hire staff. Create a protagonist. Oh, thank goodness. Create technology kit. Okay, don't know what that does. Visual quality, quality sound, linear story, cheap character, or a sidekick. So we get to apply all these things, do we, to... Uh, a particular production. So if we wanted to say, right, okay, hacked off needs a cheap character, we could then uh, research that and then put that character in. Okay. Okay, that's very good. For now, new researched available mono perspective V1, simple sound V1. Yeah, this is very, very similar to Game Dev Tycoon and that you get all these things that you can apply to your productions if you like. Uh, okay, let's just finish hacked off for now because I don't think we can do anything with hacked off. So future hackers. Probably uh, not much humour, I wouldn't have thought. I would have said complexity is probably going to be quite good. And a bit of action. I think maybe... Bring that down a tiny bit. There. I think that's probably a good combo of things. That will do with the script. Come on, give us some style points. Come on. Make it stylish. It's supposed to be stylish. Futuristic. It's a beautiful sort of futuristic slick sort of thing. Okay. Hank Vader, who was last in Farm Magic. We can't have him in. We can't have him. We can't have Hank Vader. He's happy. Let's have the intelligent, brave, but not so happy, so he's sort of a bit brooding, Bakachu, who was such a success in Yeehaw, Rootin' Tootin', Sheriff McShooty Pants, whatever I called him. So yeah, let's have that, please. We'll put him in, and then we need to do lots of research to get all sorts of other stuff done. Okay, but now are we doing this? Allocate your staff to different attributes, take care of their job, try to reach milestones, only then will your choice. Only then your choice will pay off. Okay, tutorial screening. Right you are. I don't know what this is. Um... Okay, please allocate your employees to their attributes. Uh, okay, that there. What's this? Technology. That and that. Uh, oh, we're doing a screen. Oh, we're doing a screening of Hacked Off to get people in, are we? Oh, I see. So I am doing some sort. Of, I'm showing off the script side of things, but I've got no other employees. But we're using Mono Perspective V1 and Simple Sound. Okay, I fully understand what that means. But okie dokie. <laughs> Right, and that's gone up to seven. Good. A thing has happened. Right, okay. Right, we need some style, please. Can we have some style? Just give us a tiny bit of style. It's supposed to be in the future. It's supposed to be a gritty future. But all we're doing is... Oh, we're not doing anything. Come on, come on, come on. One style point. You can do it, Mr. Man. No, you can't. Oh, yeah, yeah there we go. One style point. Right, that'll do. We'll finish off there. Thank you very much. Let's publish this. New theme, new setting. Awesome combo and a great protagonist. Right, visuals have crept up. Sound has crept up a tiny bit because I guess now we're in a fancy office. Screenplay's gone up. The protagonist has not leveled up. We will have leveled up, surely. Yay! And we did a screening and that has leveled up a tiny bit. Okay, well, let's broadcast this. Um, Bakaju did not level up, but he's got even more popular, which is excellent news. And... 
Come on, hacked off. Come on, come on. Off the back of Yeehaw, Rootin' Tootin', Sheriff McShooty Pants, we need something good. Joe, you know what? I'll take that. The story was over average. Bakachu was really good. Director Penge was good. The setting thing combo was fantastic, but it only got 7.5 average. Okay, do you know what? I'm still pretty happy with that. I will take that and run with it. Right, let's create a, uh, let's create the report on that if we can. So let's create a series report on Hacked Off. That will not take long. 49 viewers. It's not quite as good as Rootin' Tootin' whatever it was. <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, it's going up though. It's still increasing. That's fine. So then we do that. Lovely. It's a perfect combo. Complexity is important. Good, good, good. Okay, right. Let's just click that for now. Because that pauses the game, doesn't it? Yeah, because there's no sort of actual strict pause button. What we'll do is, I think... I think we've had a good look at the start of this. But I want to come back and do more. I want to see more of the research stuff now. Because we've got all these things. Researching new technologies. that will increase your quality and rating of your series. If you work with antiquated tech, the critics will... The critics will drop down. <laughs> the, the critics will just fall on the floor. So create new technology kits with new researches. So we've got all these things. So now... Our 17 research points can be used on a new theme. Or... We can hire so ah we can hire staff. That's not technically research because it costs no research points. We create a new protagonist. We can create a technology kit, or we can increase things. We can increase the visual quality, sound quality. Uh, we can make a linear story, or we could unlock a cheap character. Okay, we probably need another staff member. That might make our production better, or maybe two staff members, given we've got just under a quarter of a million. So yeah, next time we'll come and do some of this. I think it's worth coming back to. Maybe we'll have a little mini series of this because it seems quite a lot of fun. We've only just sort of got into really the, the the main bit of the game, I would say, with you know getting staff on board and creating new characters to have in our films, and making the sound and stuff better, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, we'll come back to this. We should come back to series makers because this is a lot of fun. If it is very, very, very similar to Game Dev Tycoon. I mean, I don't know if it's the same dev company or not. I don't think it was, but whatever the case, it's very, very similar. But as I said earlier, that's no bad thing because I did enjoy Game Dev Tycoon. But um, but yeah, there we go. It's, a, it, it's, it's worth coming back to, if only to have a little more exploration around these new things that we're going to unlock. And of course, to create some more excellently named and hopefully well-received TV shows as well. But yeah, we'll wrap it up for now. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. I hope this was enjoyable. I've had quite a nice time playing this and I hope you have enjoyed watching. If you have please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on in Series Makers and of course to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to as well. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. They've ripped my arms off, ripped my legs off. I mean, you know, unfortunately they didn't rip anything else off. Yes, I'm off my face on mushrooms. Why, Lady Charlotte, I, uh, I would certainly love to taste your cake. The King of the West is an idiot. I am off my face on mushrooms. I mean, asking me questions isn't going to be my strong point at the minute.